this is fire blight on uh, pear trees here. This is a real big problem for homeowners. They'll uh, see this starting um, in the spring shortly after flowering and then it'll progress into the uh, late spring early summer. So it starts out as bacteria gets moved to the new flowers by bees and all the insects that uh, move to the flowers. The bacteria gets down inside of the, the nectary down there and from there it starts to progress its way into the, the flower uh, base itself. So you get a rot occurring starting here and it works its way down. And once it gets down to the base, it starts to work its way into the shoots. And you start to see rot on the leaves, and, uh, the shoot tips, and it'll work its way all the way down until you get to where the uh, new shoot ends, where the growth started this year. Then you uh, start to lose the leaves, and the whole shoot will die back to where it started its growth last year. And this uh, can occur very rapidly. This infection here started two weeks ago, and um, we've still got several more weeks for this disease to progress. What we're uh, doing here is evaluating a number of different products to try to control this disease. It's a really big issue in uh, production for both uh, pear and apple production, but also for ornamental growers that are producing these for homeowners. Uh, Right now, the standard control is uh, spraying a copper fungicide pretty much every week throughout the whole spring. And as you might imagine, that's really expensive and um, creates a lot of extra labor for these guys. And the, pro the trees don't end up looking that good, even with all that work. So we're looking at a lot of different products, trying to find uh, new things that will uh, control this disease. Flowers, Flowers are the primary uh, place where the bacteria gets started and then from there it produces into this shoot light here. So each one of these trees is treated with a, a different product. Owners that uh, start to see this pro the damage, there's really not a lot that we can do. So our recommendations right now are just let it progress into the summer. And once the temperatures have come up, it's fairly uh, hot and dry, we'll go in and we'll cut these diseased shoots off. So, um, want to wait until it's warmed up a good bit otherwise when you cut this shoot with your shears the bacteria will get on your shears and then when you go cut another shoot you'll transfer that bacteria from uh, place to place when we do that cut we want to come down several inches below where we see the damage so that we're not getting into that infection that damage start off with a clean shoot for next year